Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. Today's practice is about releasing stress from the mind and the body. It's a stress relief chair yoga practice. I'm an acupuncturist and a yoga teacher and what I like to do is um, combine both of those practices so that my patients, my clients, you can find more balance, find ease into your body, into mind, and you're just feeling more like yourself. These days, people are feeling a little wacky. Wacky meaning just not like themselves. They may feeling, be feeling stuck. Um, and what I'd like to share with you is Chinese medicine principles and how that may help you. And then we're gonna combine a little bit of movement with that too. So Chinese medicine says that if we're um, kind of getting foggy, we're getting caught up with stuff in our minds. Um, if our body's starting to feel discomfort or pain, what Chinese medicine says is that our blood, our chi, our chi is also called life force, is not flowing beautifully and smoothly throughout the body. So what can we do to help that? How can we get unstuck and flow more smoothly and freely, release the tension and the pain in our body and maybe our joints? Well, what we can do is we can make sure that we stay hydrated, we have a good night's sleep, we eat well. So eating well means eating three times a day, that of course is a Chinese medicine, and also we are making sure that we have movement. So when we get stuck, we are literally stuck. The blood and the chi is just getting stuck and it's kind of holding into the body. And you probably feel that, that after like maybe your shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the fingers, they're getting, they're feeling tight, they're feeling grumpy. But after you move a little bit, that's when we have a little bit more flexibility and we're feeling a little more free. And then you'll notice that even the idea or the word flexibility and free with the body, you'll notice that your mind is a little more flexible and free as well. So today's practice is going to be on the chair and we're going to incorporate some Chinese medicine principles of movement, flow, and also acupressure points. Okay, so we're going to start with our feet, hip width distance apart on the floor. Always try to root them on the ground, knees on top of the ankle, shoulders on top of the waist. Okay, I want us to take our arms all the way up. And instead of taking the palms together, I want you to have the backs and the hands together. Breathing in here, and then exhale, breathing out. Good, like you're flying. Breathing in, breathing out, freedom. Okay, we're gonna do some visualizations today in this practice. In the breath and out. Just kind of finding our breath, finding a little bit more free in our chest, in our rib cages, breathing out. Great. I want you to go ahead and take the arms to the sides and to the other side, just right in front of you. Okay. And I want you to find a little bit more freedom. So not rooting your sit bones into the chair, but kind of flowing with it, swaying from side to side. I want you to think of this as you know the, the flow, the body flow, the movement of air the movement of your blood, the movement of your chi flowing back and forth. And you're assisting it with breaths. So inhaling and exhaling. Breathing in and out. You notice I'm starting to sway into my hips a little. I'm letting my shoulders relax. Kind of finding just a nice gentle rhythm. Breathing in and breathing out. Great. Now I want you to take it all the way up. Breathe in and out. Inhaling, exhaling. Breathing in, expanding the chest maybe, and out. Maybe you need to engage the belly muscles a little just to support the lower back. You have to gauge how the body is doing today. Breathing in. Breathing out, we're gonna switch sides. So flow all the way up and down the other way. Breathing in and out, connecting with that rhythm, 
and that flow, most importantly, connecting with your breath in and out. Breathing in and out. Good. In and then take your hands up and release them down onto your thighs. Good. Inhale, brush stroke up. Inhale, exhale, breathe out. One more breath in and out. Great, now take your arms up as though you're holding a nice big ball. Draw the belly in and expand out. Inhaling, exhaling. Again, holding that ball. Breathing in, breathing out. Focusing on connecting breath with movement. In and out. Good. Inhaling again. In and out. Again, breathing in and out. Well done. Let's go ahead and take the arms all the way up. Inhaling, exhaling. I want you to visualize that the universe is full of this positive energy and you're grasping onto it. And then you're taking this beautiful positive energy into your heart space, okay? Positive thoughts, positive energy in and taking it into your heart. Keep it up, breathing in and out. Again, breathing in and out. One more positive breath, grasping all of it from the universe and then sending it and bringing it into your heart space. Take a breath here, inhaling, exhaling. Well done. We're gonna take our hands on top of the thighs. I'd like you to open up the chest for a seated cow. So seated cow pose, open up your heart, lift up your chest to the sky, stick your tailbone out to the back, and then exhale, round the back, cat pose. Great. Inhaling, exhaling, rounding the back. Good, breathing in and out. One more breath, inhaling, Exhaling. Well done. Come back to a neutral spine. We're going to go ahead and take the arms up again. Breathing in, arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. And this time I'd like you to take your hands down and then cross the arms over the body just like this. Pulling, imagine you're pulling up a big sweater off of your body and then releasing it taking it off. Okay. Now we're going to visualize this sweater is this heavy sweater that really wasn't necessary. We needed to take this sweater off because it's too heavy and it's weighing us down. It's making us grumpy. So we're releasing it and getting rid of it. Okay. If you don't like that visualization, then I want you to also consider pulling up that veil of darkness, that cloud of grumpiness up off of you and then you're letting it part, separating and getting rid of it. <sighs> okay, pulling that veil of grumpiness up and then getting rid of it. <sighs> Releasing yourself, feeling more free and more at ease. One more time, getting rid of the last bits of grumpiness off of the body out of the mind and getting rid of it. Ah, well done. From here, I'd like you to press onto the arms, backs of your arms, and then on the inside, okay? Back of the arm, and then come up on the inside. Good, back of the arm, pressing, and then on the inside. Now I want you to press on the back of your arm, release, and then pull in across goodness into the body. Come on down, down to the other side. Good. 
Now we're gonna go inside and on the outside, push down. Okay, we're stimulating the chi and the blood in the body. So pushing down and then pulling up. You got it. Down on the out and on the inside. So if you've ever done any of my classes before here, you'll notice that this is a common practice that I do. Well, we're getting that, making that energy that's stuck, unstuck right now. Okay, and now we're gonna come down and release it out and then come up with beautiful loving energy back into the heart space here. I want you to kind of gently rub into this lower space underneath the collarbones, gentle pressure here. Take a breath in and then release. Okay, any last bits of stuck energy in the body, we're gonna get rid of it now. So I want you to rub, get rid of it, goodbye, rub, Goodbye. Okay, again, pushing, releasing, out of there. Pushing out, getting rid of. Again, last bit. Goodbye. Push, goodbye. Wonderful. Now, soothing, loving energy, down, up, across, down, up, across. We're gonna do this three sets. Down, up, across, down, up, across, down, loving energy into the back, into the body, down, up, across. And now come underneath the collarbones, right between the first and the second rib, right here at the top, we're going to gently rub and massage into the space. This acupressure point, acupuncture point, is lung one, lung two area. This is a common spot that I acupuncture my patients when they're dealing with grief, sadness. It's a wonderful place to get yourself out of that just sadness and grumpiness. So we're going to just breathe here as we press. I sometimes tap on this space too when I feel very overwhelmed. I tap here and I take a nice deep breath to release it. Do that again, breathing in. Well done. Place your hands on top of your thighs. Go ahead and give me a cow pose. Breathe in, breathing out. Again, inhaling, open the chest up, breathing out. One more time, three times. In, good, exhale, breathe out. Wonderful. At this point in the practice, I want you to take your hands to the sides of your hips. I want you to go ahead and rub into this space. Take a breath in and out. Now I want you to rub into your lower back. Inhaling, exhaling. If you need to come up into the edge of your chair, please do so. So you have more space because I want us to hold our arms here and have a nice little beaming heart up, okay? So we're gonna rub into our lower back, which is where our kidneys are placed. And according to Chinese medicine, our kidneys are the foundation of our body. So we're giving a little bit of love to the foundation so we feel rooted and grounded, okay? One more breath here. We're gonna stop and hold our hands here. Open up the chest. Bring the elbows slightly closer together behind you and breathe in here and out. One more breath in, out. Well done, release the arms, release the hands. That might have been a little bit of a doozy for you for those wrists, so you're gonna roll out the wrists. Okay, good. Roll them inward, keep them breathing. Maybe starting to smile. Let's do a little bit of finger piano playing, and then let's go ahead and shake them out. Shake, 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 okay? And I'm gonna shake out any tension left in my upper body. Goodbye, 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 good. Go back to your rubbing into those sides of your hips, okay? Breathe in, breathe out. Now, inhaling here, holding it, breathe in. 
and then exhale, gently push onto the sides of your legs, come on down. I want you to melt here, okay? Wherever you are comfortable, you can place your hands on top of your feet, or if it's more comfortable, I'd like you to take your hands just like so on top of your thighs. I want you to round your back and give yourself a nice, gentle hug. As we kind of cocoon ourselves into this rounded position, I want you to say to yourself how much you care and love for yourself. And then go ahead and say something nice to yourself, an unconditional loving thought. I'm a good person. I'm a great friend. I'm an amazing daughter. I'm an amazing um, son. Just any wonderful, positive energy and words would be great right now. One big breath as you say that nice, positive thought to yourself, inhaling, exhaling. Good. Now slowly, tight belly, tight, tight belly, press yourself up. Take your arms all the way up. Inhale, touch. Exhale, hands to the sides. Breathe in. Exhale, push onto the outside of the legs and then gently take your hands on the inside of the legs push up roll the shoulders back okay two more of these breathe in breathe out in breathe out push down and on the inside of the legs press on up tight belly push into the feet roll the shoulders back okay last one in and out breathe in Breathe out. Gentle, tight belly, press up. Inhaling and exhaling. Wonderful. Now we're going to add another acupressure point. I want you to go ahead and take your right knee up. Big hug, rounding the back, loving thoughts to yourself. And then go ahead and cross your foot. Okay? Now it's not important that we're crossing the leg. What I want you to do is actually have access to the top and the bottom of your foot. The first and the second toe. Between this toe is the beginning of our liver channel, the liver meridian, according to Chinese medicine. And what we like to say in this practice of Chinese medicine is that when we are starting to feel all of this stagnation, this grumpiness, this pain in the shoulders and the neck, maybe twitchy eyes, maybe migraines, maybe um, just fogginess and just overwhelming thoughts up here that's clouding us. We need to descend this energy through the liver channel all the way down to this spot. So let's focus on the spot between the first and the second toe. Okay, there's a web there. Start with the web, taking your fingers at the web and then bring it all the way up to probably the first or the second meta, uh, meta uh, tarsal of your foot, just the bones there. Go ahead and rub them, okay? And as you are kind of massaging into that space, you're gonna notice, depending how grumpy you are, it's gonna hurt. So be gentle or firm. It depends on how you feel, but just notice that this is your practice and honor the body, okay? Breathe in here as you press, and then release. Okay, press it again, breathing in, and release, release it. Okay, one more time, breathing in, give it a little go here, pressing, and then go ahead, release. Well done. Go ahead and tap onto the both sides of your feet. Kind of you're smacking it. <laughs> give me a little tap. And now I want you to place your thumbs, because I find, I find thumbs are the best here, just in the center below the ball of the foot, just kind of closer to the center. I want you to press into that space. This is kidney one. This is the foundation, as I mentioned before, our foundation of our constitution, of our body, according to Chinese medicine. And when we press on this, we're feeling more grounded. Again, sending this beautiful energy down into the space below so that we're not all stuck up here, okay? Go ahead and breathe in, press on it, and then release, <sighs> okay? Again, pressing on the bottom of the foot, inhaling, 
Release. Okay, one more time. Breathing in and then release. Well done. Go ahead and tap it out. Tap and smack it out. Take that leg, place it down. If you feel like you need to do a little bit of a lift and a little shake, that's what I recommend you should do. Okay, do what your body's asking you to do. Now notice this foot and leg versus this foot. Did that pressing of those acupressure points, doesn't this leg feel a little bit more free and flowing compared to this one, which may feel a little more heavy and stuck and stagnated? Well, that's the point of this practice, releasing stress, finding stress relief. Okay, let's go ahead and take the other foot up and then crossing the leg, reminding ourselves that it's not about how we cross the leg because we're not working on the hip specifically, we're working on the acupressure point. So again, between the first and the second toe, now you know and you're comfortable and you're, you know where we, we're going with this now, I want you to go ahead and press into that space. And you probably will notice that one leg may be grumpier than the other. This is true, one side is always grumpier than the other. So be careful, be kind, be good to yourself, okay? We're gonna do the same thing here. So go ahead and press into that space, both hands, one hand, your choice. Breathe in here as you press, and the release. Okay, again, pressing, inhaling, release. Relax. Again, breathing in, press, 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 and release. Okay, let's go ahead and find that spot on the bottom of the foot, kidney one, pressing, noticing how it's different or the same as the other side. We're gonna press, 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 breathe in, release. Okay, again, breathing in, press, 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 release. Again, breathing in, press, 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 and release. Go ahead and tap it out. We didn't do the tap out between the two pressing points. That's okay. Give it a little extra. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You're just kind of smacking it out, moving the chi, moving the blood. Okay, well done. We're gonna release that leg, help it. And then of course, if you need to give a little tap and shake, do that please. And then we're gonna release the feet down. Ah, and then I want you to notice, how does this feel? Do you feel a little bit more loose? A little bit more release? Did you feel that the physical practice of yoga has helped you to release a little bit of tension, a little bit of stress out of the mind, out of the body? Did some of these acupressure points help releasing the tension out of the mind? To close our practice, we're gonna take our hands to our heart. I want you to rub your hands firmly together until they get nice and warm. Take a breath here as you're rubbing them, breathing in and out. Now, placing your hands gently over your eyes, fingertips gently placed on top of your head. We're gonna take a nice deep breath here, in, out, sending loving, warming energy to the mind, breathing in and out. Well done. We're going to take our hands to the heart with our eyes gently closed and our head is slightly bowed down. We'll take a moment to thank for the gift of today and I want you to take a moment to thank yourself doing something wonderful for your mind and your body to relieve the stress. Namaste.